Mayor Aaron Stewart from New Britain's here. We talked a little bit about the Rockcats, and uh, you wish them nothing but the best, right? I do. Nothing but the best for them wherever they end up. Um, I just So is it too late for them to work it out in New Britain? Um, I Of course, I'd love to meet with them with the ownership to talk, figure out why this happened, why they chose to go about things the way that they did. Um, you know, I can't force them to return my phone calls or meet with me, but right. it's just unfortunate. Um, I still stand ready to work with them in any way that I that I can. Uh, it seems like well, they were talking with the city of Hartford for many, many months, right? Yeah, apparently. And um, it seems like they would just out of respect bring you into the loop. Now, if they brought you into the loop, would that how would that ruin things? I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Well, look, it might be leaked. Do they think that you might leak it to the press? I don't. I don't. I really couldn't tell you. But right. it's just you know, it's good policy to include the the mayor of the town that you may be looking to poach a team from for lack yeah. of a better term um just to to fill them in yeah. on what's going on look you may tell are me you something. a little annoyed with mayor Segarra? i yeah. mean you guys have history right like he should have called you and said hey i just want you to know i'm talking to these guys yeah absolutely it's common courtesy i would certainly do that to any other other mayor right yeah. so let's talk about the drunken alderman who <laughs> shows up in your office allegedly God. although he admitted to everything Where, right, allegedly, yes. mm-hmm. right yeah right so you guys have a history of uh, animosity or no um I wouldn't say animosity. Certainly, some disagreements here and there. But this is he Republican or Democrat? Democrat, which no, re- you know, paper reported that, of course. Gotcha. Right. Okay. <laughs> which kind of pissed me off, but yeah. that's besides the point. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, he's been on the council for a long time. He was on the council when my father was mayor as well. Him and my dad had quite the interesting relationship too. Never really disrespectful. I mean, you can agree to disagree, have yeah. a, a heated argument, right. still come out, you know, okay. Um, I So he said in the paper he thought he could have a beer. Clearly he was wrong. Got a good buzz on. Starts emailing, calling you. Then he shows up at City Hall, comes in. This is after hours? Yeah. No, this is at 1130 in the morning. It's 1130 oh. in the morning. He's in your office? Yes. Oof. With a buzz on. Oh, you got it. And then uh, I heard, according to reports, he was like opening cabinet doors looking for some more booze in your office. <laughs> uh, you don't have any booze in your office? Totally. Un- no. What is the deal with that? <laughs> right, need some. Well, she's new yet. <laughs> Give her a couple of years, she'll be hitting that bottle too. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, so either there's no booze in there or he couldn't find it. Right, exactly. Well, but then it, now he's telling you not to run because he wants to run. Yeah, he was. He wanted to sit in my chair behind my desk. He oh, said please. that he, you know, what he, is he, 12? He right. wanted to be wants mayor. Wants to sit in a big boy chair. Exactly. I want a key to the city too. <laughs> all right, but he did have a buzz on. But. He did. You know, half of me, I mean, I, the reason I didn't press charges was I really did feel bad for the guy. Yeah. I mean, it was such a pathetic showing. He couldn't even stand up. Oh, and, that's uh, sad. It was, yeah, it was sad. And like and, your chief of staff called some of his friends and said, there's no way he can drive. Yeah. You guys got to get over here and yep. take him home. Get him so. out of here. Yeah. We-